uh, having just come back from Samoa, I'd driven through, um, we'd driven all around both Upolu and Savai'i, and in Savai'i I noticed in particular they um, have like this voracious weed, it's, I think they call it mile a minute or something like that, and it's a little bit like our convolvulus. So what it does is it grows all over everything. You can still see the forms and the shapes underneath. You can see that it's a tree, you can see that it's a fence with posts and, or an old hut or whatever, but it's absolutely smothered with this um, kind of, this, t you know, weed that's taken over. And it's actually quite a problem. But anyway, I thought it was interesting the fact that you could still see the forms underneath this thing that had kind of basically colonised another thing. And I sort of thought that was quite an interesting metaphor as well for, um, you know, like sort of Western Polynesian relationships, you know, and, and like maybe say in terms of the church where you know, um, missionaries arrived in the islands and kind of changed the whole culture in a way, in a lot of ways, um, but now it's kind of turned around on itself and the um, people have taken the Western tradition and turned it into their own. So it's like a triumph of survival and um, determination. And so I find all those things quite interesting and that kind of, um, toing and froing between the two totally different cultures and, and how they work it out and how they become something else but still retaining both of those things. So they become like a hybrid, I guess. Um, so anyway, I was thinking about all these things and I, ha you know, the, I had the idea of using the lei, which is like the ubiquitous symbol of the Pacific, um, of Polynesia and that, and using them to, to smother, um, you know, sort of Western uh, suburban furniture and, and using the furniture from my childhood, so from that particular era and things. So I, I was scouring op shops and getting furniture that was exactly like what we used to have or very, very similar and things like that and then just covering them in these flowers and lay and um, just like totally pollinising them, you know, and colonising these forms with a, with a Polynesian flavour, I guess you could say. So you could still see that it's a table and chairs, but it was something else, and it was very Polynesian, it was very bright and garish and, you know, fake and things like that. But, um, yeah, so it was kind of like, like conflating two, two separate cultures and coming up with a third thing, which is a little bit like what I guess a lot of us who have parents from both sides are like, you know. Mm. Yeah, and I just like the idea of, you know, making, also making this kind of crazy, trippy childhood home. You know, if you were a kid and you lived in a house with furniture like that, you probably think it was quite neat. You know, people wanted to sit in the chair. They, they had to sit in the chair and, and people look at the work and it's very tactile and they'll kind of have a quick look behind them if no one's looking at it, touching it and, you know, which is a gratifying response, except it does tend to be a bit damaging after several hundred people have done that. So this opportunity came along to actually kind of create the wallpaper, if you like, that would go with the furniture in the home. And so this afternoon um, we'll be basically making a kind of three-dimensional wallpaper from from some of the petals of the lay, but probably but more likely will be with the, some of the leaves and things that have been, I've collected over the years, the, the um, synthetic leaves that um, come with the lay as well. So we'll be trying to create a backdrop that looks like a domestic interior, um, but with these like three-dimensional kind of fake leaves and um, see how that works. So that'll be really interesting.